reaction. And we're going to talk about the uh, initial concentrations, although we're going to do ML in our demo. Change. change, if I know how to spell change. And equilibrium. So I'm going to hide this. Actually, uh, most people teach ice. I saw this uh, book where they mentioned rice, and I thought, oh, that's good, because kids always forget to put the reaction down, and then they screw up. So we're going to, in our case here, is our reaction is going to be a, well, actually, I want a better, I want this red. We've got our A, which is our 500 ml. Right, we have cylinder, and we've got our B, and they're going back and forth, even though we don't really have this in simulation. And normally we'd be dealing with either molarities, concentrations, or pressures. Now, looking at this, which way do you think this reaction will go? Will it go to the right or the left? Or to reach an equilibrium. So everyone, it's pretty easy to see, correct? Yep. So I'm going to set it at 1.6. So we've got, uh, let's see, where are I? I'll put it over here. we got K EQ equals 1.6. Now, I'm going to introduce what's called the reaction quotient, which is Q. And remember, what is this? This is the what over what? Products over reactants. And what we're going to do is the reaction quotient is going to be products initially over the initial reactant. So then it could be zero uh, for one of them, or they could, you know, can it could be anything. And I have already set this up, and it turns out this is at one oh, uh, it's at four oh five. So here's my initial. It's going to be four hundred five. We'll say these are all mLs. We don't have to repeat ourselves, and hopefully I can write a 5 better. So 405, and I've rigged this up at uh, 300. So what's the reaction quotient in this case? Come on, calculator. So we've got uh, 300 divided by 405 equals what? Zero point? 7.4. Now, you notice this number, is it smaller or greater than the actual equilibrium? It's smaller. So here's the thing, is if the reaction quotient, which is the initial conditions, is less than the actual equilibrium constant, you know that it's going to go towards the product. It's going to go towards the equilibrium. It's going to shift to the right. And if it was the other way, then you would know it would actually shift to the left. So if it was bigger, if this number came out, if uh, this number was bigger than that number, then, it, then the equilibrium would uh, shift towards the reactants. And it's good to know that which way. So it's good to uh, run your cue first to get a sense of which way it's going because it's going to help us figure out how to set up the change part of it. So here's my initial conditions. Here's my reaction, my initial conditions. Let's talk about the change. Now. Will this increase or decrease? Decrease. 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 So let's use an algebraic uh, um, symbol for the decrease. And what's your classic algebraic symbol? X. So will it be a plus X or a minus X? So everyone see minus X because we're not going to lose some volume. And the way this, even though this is 500,000, the way it works out is ends up this is going to gain. So for whatever it loses over here, it's going to gain. So what would be the value of this at equilibrium then? What was that? Yeah, it's going to be 405 minus x. Therefore, this is going to be what at equilibrium? It's going to be 300 plus x. Now, this is a very simple demonstration, representation. It will get much more complicated when we get, uh, when we have, uh, you know, coefficients that are going to be 
you know, things to the you know, square and stuff like that. So it will get much more complicated with this. So our equilibrium is this, right? And it's product of us at equilibrium. So watch how I'm going to set this up. So I know that 1.6 equals um, 300 plus x divided by uh, 405 minus x. See that? So all we have to do is solve for x. Simple algebra in this case. So I'm going to go 1.6 times 405 minus x equals 300 plus x. So, someone tell me, what's 1.6 times 405? 648. Was it? 6 what? 648. 648 minus 1.6x equals 300 plus x. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 1.6 to both sides. So I'm going to have 2.6x equals... And I subtract 300 for both sides, so it's going to be 3, was that 48? I wrote 5. 348 equals 2.6x. Did I do it right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And x therefore equals what? 133.8. What was that? 133.8. So we'll say 134? Sure. So this should be what? Let's see whether, let's see if it comes out. So now. It's squeezed up. And you remember it goes fast. And it slows down. So let's do, let's see. So what while it's doing that, so 405 minus x is going to be what? 405 minus 100. I don't know, I'm just listening to you guys. And what's 300? Well, that one I could easily do. That's 434. Did I do it right? Let's see what it actually is. Do you want my help? <laughs> I think they're, every one is five on that side. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna erase this. Okay. So now it is my our initial conditions are 271, and I uh, filled it up pretty much close to the 600 line right here. What's my Q now? going to be 600 divided by 271. So what is it? 600 divided by 271 equals 2.2, which is greater than 1.6. So, and you can see this way, which way is the equilibrium going to shift? To the left. So, let's do our change. Do I do minus x here? Where do I do the minus x? Yeah, see that's why the Q helps you figure out where to put, whether to add or subtract. So this is plus x. So our equilibrium is going to be 271 plus x. I've got 600 minus x. So my 1.6 
So you think it's it's about done. So what is it uh, then? It's actually a little bit lower. So three thirty. Um, close. There, guys. That's how it works. Cool, huh? I think it's cool. And but it'll, again, it's going to get a lot more complicated after this.